Please welcome uh, for our mayor of the day, uh, for the day, Kate Riso, as well as our press secretary for the day, Sienna Von Rosen. Uh, Kate is a grade five student at Middle Phillip Community School. And uh, as mayor, she, today she met with the chief administrative officer, uh, myself, uh, and the other members of the council. And of course she's participating in uh, this part of the meeting. She, you will also hear of her other adventures that she had today. Um, she and Sienna joined us for lunch and we had uh, a nice talk there. Um, her class will also enjoy a pizza lunch, although I'm not sure how that we're going to organize that with the strike, but we'll, we'll deal with that. Uh, Kate will also appear in local media interviews and uh, this night, tonight she's going to give her own mayor's report. We've had uh, 33 entries into this Mayor for the Day contest and um, they were very interesting to read. Um, the kids were well informed. Um, they, I didn't, I read all of them. I didn't get the sense that they were being shadow written by parents. Uh, these were the kids' own thoughts. And um, Kate in particular uh, had a very uh, good entry, very well written. She was focusing on physical activity and enhancing Whistler's family friendly uh, festivals and events and she's got a special announcement at the end of her report in that regard. Uh, there was also a component for preschool children and uh, Sienna Wheatman was the winner of that contest um, and uh, she submitted a, a drawing of her favorite Whistler part and Sienna and I will ride in the Canada Day Parade together. Um, I'd like to thank Gianna Inglese and, and Nikki Best for the great work that you did uh, in organizing this uh, Mayor for the Day contest and the preschool contest as well. Uh, very good work, thank you. And now I'd like to hand this over to your, your worship, Mayor Kate Riso. So what we did today was we toured the Municipal Hall in the Public Safety Building and met the staff that taught us about various subjects of the RMOW. We met Nancy Johnston who works on permits for fire pits so people can have legal fires in their backyards. She also issues parking tickets and administers noise bylaws. We met the Deputy Fire Chief Chris Nelson who is working on operating guidelines, OGs, so the firefighters have all of the proper training and safety protocols. We met Fire Chief Shelley Kirkwood who keeps the community safe and, regulate, and regulated and oversees evacuation plans. We learned about the Fire Smart program that makes house Houses Smarter. We learned that 85% of homes lost in house fires have cedar roofs. While in, while in the finance department, we met a member of the public who is coming in to pay their property taxes. Property taxes are due on July 2nd. Property taxes go towards things like paving roads, water, the wastewater treatment plant, and upkeep, upkeeping of the municipality. We, we learned that in the last three years, there was 0% property tax increase. We met Sandra Brown in engineering and learned about GPS mapping of the town and other engineering and infrastructure services. We met Michael Day in engineering who taught us about the Chequemus Crossing district energy system that turns the wastewater heat into heat to warm his houses like a reverse refrigerator. We met the communications department which is responsible for newsletters, the municipal website, and news releases. We met John Ray from Strategic Alliances who plans the events and festivals in Whistler. Past events including the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra and the Bare Naked Ladies. 
We met staff from legislative services who coordinate council meetings, special committees, oversee the board of variants, and manage the Whistler Cemetery and many other special projects. We had the opportunity to tour the Meadow Park Sports Center and work behind the scenes at their front desk. We learned how to cash out by, fix, by counting and fixing the float and how to sign in people for drop-offs and activities. In my letter to become mayor for a day, I wrote that Whistler should have more family-friendly events and make toys and activities available for kids during the day at Whistler Olympic Plaza. I would like to officially announce that because my letter tomorrow on June 18th from 12 to 3 p.m., Millennium Place has donated toys for us to use at Whistler Olympic Plaza. I encourage everyone to come out and play from 12 to 3 p.m. tomorrow. Some, some of the toys available will include giant bouncy balls, sports nets and balls, giant tic-tac-toe sets, hula hoops, foam mats, skipping ropes, and ladder toss games. Proclamation. As mayor for the day, I met with Nancy Wilhelm Morden and members of council and chief administrator officer Mike Fury during the committee of the whole meeting. And we have decided to make a special proclamation. I, we, Whistler is one of the greatest outdoor activities destinations in the world. And the Resort Municipality of Whistler is working on to encourage physical activity and the well-being in its residents. And Get Outside and Play Day is an opportunity for residents of the Resort Municipality to show their passion for play. And the outdoors now, therefore, be it that I, Kate Biso, Mayor for a Day on June 17th, 2014, asked that all residents of the municipality of Whistler join me to encourage outdoor fitness and togetherness and further and be it further that July 12, 2014 is officially recognized as Get Outside and Play Day. I, Kate Riso, Mayor of Resort Municipality of Whistler, do hereby pro proclaim July 12, 2014, to be Get Outside and Play Day, and strongly encourage all residents of, resort, of the Resort Municipality of Whistler to continue to recognize and support the spirit of play and enjoy the outdoors. Thank you, Mayor Riso. Before you sign uh, that proclamation, I actually need to do the technical stuff. So we'll need somebody to move the proclamation. Moved by Councilor Grills, seconded by Councilor Jackson. Comments? Call the question then. All in favor? Any opposed? Motion carries. So. Did you have anything that you wanted to say in closing? Or is that that's it? Okay, good.